What's up, guys? Frugal BC, and we have got a great show for you today. We're going to be talking about Algorand governance, voting session number two. It's a pretty big proposal that could have a really serious impact on the Algorand ecosystem. We're going to talk about that, all that, on today's Frugal BC. What's up, guys? Frugal BC, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing great out there. And today, as I said, we are going to be talking about Algorand governance period two. This is the second vote coming up. So now just to break down some of the basics, the vote is coming up on January 31st. So be sure to check that out. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, according to the Algorand governance site, it starts at 9.59 a.m. I don't know if that's geolocated. I assume that's my time here in Central, so I don't know what that is in yours, but you can check the uh, governance.algorand.foundation uh, and click on the governance period two session and they will show you all the comments. And this time, there, this is a big, this is a really big proposal. This is way bigger than the last one. So there's something to keep in mind. And it's going to go, and because of that, it's going to go all the way to the February 28th. So you're going to get the full month. Obviously, February is the shortest month, but you get the full month to make your decision. So what are we deciding on? Hey, by the way, guys, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I'd really love it if you would. And it'll help you see all our crypto experiments. As you know, I do little mini experiments with all these crypto platforms just to try them out, see how they go. And then you can learn from my uh, either success or not so much success. So, <laughs> so be sure to check that out. Hit that like button too. Uh, if you love if you love Algorand and you love crypto, just hit that like button and show your support for the channel. Show your support for crypto. But enough about that. Uh, what are we voting on? Well, this is a pretty big deal this time around. So last time we voted on whether to change the reward structure and it kind of looked like we were going to change it. And then all of a sudden <laughs> we didn't. All of a sudden... Uh, People decided maybe that wasn't the best idea after all, and that's fine. You know, it, it ended up being pretty good. You know, the idea was uh, if you stayed in governance, you would have got better rewards, uh, better rewards, excuse me. Uh, but if you didn't, you would actually get penalized. So obviously what the, the status quo was, if you just kept your, if you, if you took it out, you know, nothing happened, you just didn't get the rewards, this would have actually cost you algo if you got bumped out of governance probably a good idea because I think there was a lot of confusion around it. It seemed we actually lost quite a few governors. And uh, we're going to talk about that, how it's going this time too. We're going to get to that. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about the stats. But before we do that, uh, we got to talk about what this new one. So this new t this new proposal would create an, a tier of expert governors. So they're going to call them ex-govs, which I think is kind of a cool name. By the way, it's X, the letter X, not X as in previous governors, <laughs> uh, just to keep make that clear. Uh, these governors, um, basically they're gonna act like a DAO and they're gonna be able to put forward measures for, for quarterly governance votes. So the measures that are coming up right now are coming from the foundation, but if you participate as an ex-governor un under this proposal, if this is approved, uh, you would actually be able to put forward Proposal. So I've been trying to think about how this would work. We're going to get into how you do that in a second, but how this would work. I was thinking about this. It must act like a committee. So you have like, it was, I, I would imagine there'd be a vote in the committee as people put things forward. And as they come out, then they would come to the general public. So, so governor, regular governors are still going to vote on these measures. They're, they're not going to be able to pass anything without your consent. However, they're going to have the added power of being able to propose things, which we can't do now. Uh, and to be clear, how that's going to work exactly, they don't know yet. That's something that future governors, governance periods will vote on. Governors in governance periods, I guess, would be the correct thing to say. But you would participate in this by staking a longer, uh, committing to a longer governance period. So what they say is basically a year or more. Um, there's not a there's not an algo limit from what they can see. Anyone could do it. So you could theoretically commit five algo and just leave it there for a year and you're fine. However, the power of XGovs will be determined by the stake that they commit to governance as well as their experience. So in other words, the longer that you're in this super governor period, you know, this XGov period, 
uh, the longer, you know, the more power you'll have. But also, it's also determined by numbers. So maybe uh, maybe having a few years would double your proposing power. The, the timer will go into effect as soon as you as soon as you start. Now, all these things are still a little bit up in the air, particularly the um, you know how it would actually how the proposals would actually work. Because I can't think it's just like any any ex governor could propose something and the whole community is going to vote on it. That's that would be a mess. I mean, can you imagine how many votes? So far, we've had one vote per governance period. That would be like God God knows how many thousands maybe. Uh, in this case, uh, that, that's why I think it's most likely that it's going to work sort of like a committee. And then, you know, if you were thinking in terms of like city government, these would be the committees. And then those the proposals would come out of that. And then the council, which is all of us uh, and the regular as regular governors would vote on it. Now, one of the things that I think could give people pause, because I thought this probably if, without this element, I think this would have been a slam dunk everyone would have voted for it or just about everyone. Um, but the one thing I think might raise people's ires a little bit is that a lot of your power as an ex-gov is going to be determined by how much you stake. So the experience will help too, They're just staying in it longer, but it looks like this is going to be heavily weighted towards whales. So if you're a whale, you got a whole lot of money and you know, it, you can decide whether that's good or, or bad. You know, there's there's definitely an argument to be made for, hey, I'm putting more algo into this thing. I should get more of a say. You know, that's a legitimate point. You know, another legitimate point though too is, do we just have just a handful of like the super rich determining what happens with Algorand? And, you know, both of those are legitimate perspectives in my opinion. Uh, they're both contradictory. So, you know, <laughs> That's what makes these votes kind of hard. It's not it's not black and white, really. It's it's there's a lot of gray area in here, and I do think that's going to give some people pause. If I had to to predict, I, I don't I don't know what I would predict <laughs> how it's going to go. But some things I will predict though is how many people are going to stay in this thing. So let me share my screen a second. Now, as you recall, last time for governance period one, we had. 20,000, almost 21,000 people drop out of governance. So we started with uh, more than 70,000 and we dropped to 50. Now, one of the things that happened, so, and by the way, we ended up with 3.5%, 1% rewards for that period, which is an overall APR of 14.05%, which is not a bad little return on your algo. Not bad at all. Uh, and then this period, and we've got way more algo committed, as you can see. But it's been dropping. We lost 76 million algo already, uh, 55,000 just today. And we have 64,000 governors. That is down from 67,000. So we started with fewer governors than last time. And I don't know if you if you watched my previous Algorand governance videos, you'll know that one of the big drops came right after the vote ended. And so there was some speculation, but I think the most likely scenario as to why that happened was simply because people didn't vote. I've heard some people say that they had trouble voting. So that that's, there's possible possibility of some, uh, some platform errors there, but I haven't heard a lot of that. I heard a couple of people speculating on that. So I don't know if there's any weight to that at all. What I do know is that I think a lot of people just forgot to vote or didn't vote and the drop, either way, the drop was pretty huge. Uh, it was a big drop right after, uh, the biggest drop of the whole period came in that time. So uh, something to think about. But uh, right now the rewards are quite a bit less than they were last time. We're at 2.29% for the period and 9.16% overall. That will change, um, that will go up, but how much it goes up kind of depends on how many governors we lose and how many algorand they take with them. So if it's a bunch of small potatoes, it won't affect it as much as if, uh, if, if a couple of whales drop out. And they have, we've seen that too. So, you know, higher numbers may be easier to, uh, or harder to keep track. Now, some people keep a separate wallet for governance and that's probably a good idea. I don't do that myself. I just keep, I, I just know the number and I always keep more Algorand in my wallet, especially now I've been buying with the dip, be, having it be below $1. I've been buying a lot of Algorand and sticking it back in my wallet. So 
and then redeploying that to, to projects. So I put a little more in the last time I did 600, this time I did 625, and I'm just keeping growing that, that algorithm. But the rewards are, I believe, a little bit higher, 70.5. 70, 70 million 500,000 versus what was last time? It was only 60, right? Yeah, 60. So there's more Algorand to go around. Right now there's more people, but we'll see that drop. So, so anyway, uh, the whole point of this video is just to let you know about the vote coming up and kind of give you a little context, tell you what to think. Uh, there's a lot of things still to be determined, like how that ex-governor period would work. Like I said, I'm assuming, I, it's interesting because they say that you'll have more power to make a proposal the more you know the more basically points you're awarded on this system you know the more weighted you are so the time in the system will give you more weight more committed algo will etc but i don't get i'm not i'm a little confused right now how that will work because obviously e either you can make a proposal or not right like is it going to be you know, it's at a certain level, you get to make two per period versus one, or I, I'm just trying to figure out how that could be weighted in that way. You know, maybe once a year versus twice a year versus four times a year. I don't know. I, it's it's a little confusing about how that's going to work exactly. Maybe maybe it's a DAO thing that I don't understand enough about. That's possible too. But either way, uh, that's the one coming up, and I think it's pretty big. I think this is going to have a huge impact on the ecosystem. Um, I think this will this will make a big difference in how governance is handled, how Algorand is handled, and it's it's a pretty important vote. So spend some time thinking about it. Do your research. Um, don't just listen to what I have to say. There's plenty of other YouTubers and other experts out there around the Algorand space. So uh, listen to what they have to say. You know, take my words into account too. I hope. And that's it. I'll see you in the future. Stay Algo.